Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today is me, Pierre Farrugia, and uh, we are in the beautiful Shaira area. We are in uh, Zabbar, Malta, and today we are going to do something different because we're going to review a shoe. Actually, we're going to compare the old shoe to the new shoe. This is something about me, as you can see, I'm a bit overweight, so, and I have some problems with my uh, ball of the foot, foot that was uh, giving me problems on long hikes. I went to the doctor and uh, after many things I couldn't solve this problem. Then I uh, changed my shoe to Ultra and uh, the problem disappeared. So that's why I love Ultra so much. So let's start this review now. Now we're going to start comparing two Ultra shoes. First of all, I'm going to start something about Ultra. Why Ultra? What it has Ultra so, so different from other companies? Let me show you. Well, uh, this is the Ultra Long Peak 5 uh, 2021 model. And this is a normal uh, running shoes that many people found in comfortable and doesn't have problems. These are the biggest two differences between these two are the shoe, the foot box. This one is very wide. And this one, like all running shoes, is a little bit narrow. And another thing is, this one, if you see, the shoe here is lower than this part. Well, the Ultra has a zero drop, it's called. So it's here and here is the same height. And I found it uh, that this same height, the zero drop, what is called, solved my problem. So now we start comparing the two shoes. Well, first, we're going to start the comparison. This is the Ultra 4.5 and this is the Ultra 5.0. Uh, the first thing that uh, comes to mind is that the logo here is very simple and sleek. And we compare it to this one, it has the mountains that show that uh, are visible. Another visible thing that we will talk about, which is very important, is the toe. It's uh, sewn in, and this one is not. There, here we have the holes for water drainage and before they used to be cloth. Let's start, we start uh, talking about the shoe. So, the foot box, which is this part here. On the new Ultra 5.0, we had the, the, sh the foot shape. We have two types. We have the normal and we have the wide. So, I bought the normal and it's very close to the Ultra 4.5. The, the wider, I didn't try it out. Then we have the balance cushioning, that it's uh, something ultra is known above, which is zero drop. So now the shoes, not like the example, a Nike, that has here is low and here is high. These uh, ultra, they are flat, like your foot, uh, normal foot when you are not with the shoes. Then we have the midsole, which is uh, called the Ultra Ego, which is, uh, comes from the running uh, department, and it uh, has more sprung technology in it, so it gives you more force to continue walking. And this used, was used before, so they found it good, and it's incorporated in the, this one. The Ultra, the 4.0 had the normal uh, one. Then here we have differences, the what they call it, the, the trial claw, which are the, the shape of the claws here. As you can see, this is worn out because I have used it a lot because I like this, uh, this shoe. And this is the new one, and this is the one of the 2021. Uh, another thing is that the, it still has the gator traps, which is this hook metal here, and the, the Velcro here, like the, the 4.5 which are the same thing. And then we have uh, some, some more info about the shoe. Weight is 318 grams. About uh, the cushion is considered as moderate. It has the stack height 25 millimeters and the upper sole, like the one before, is made what I call, it's like a ripstop material. It's very light and if it gets wet, it easily uh, dries out. Uh, another thing 
uh, about this uh, shoom. If we, we say, what has changed that? First of all, uh, my Ultra, which was the 4.5, it gave me trouble instantly after a few months with here uh, the lamination. When I went on the internet, everybody had the same problem. It didn't affect the shoe, but it did annoy me because I want my shoe to look good. On the new one, they addressed this uh, issue and they saw in the front part of the shoe. So the issue now is solved. This was my biggest problem. Another small thing that I don't like about Ultra, uh, it's something small. Huh? The, this part here, the extra part, many people complain about because it's made for stability, but sometimes uh, you get soil and it sprung inside the shoe. I don't have that part that it's uh, soil gets into the shoe, but uh, if you see my trouser, trousers from the back, they all dirty from this part here. Apart from this, the shoe, they are comfortable, I think, the same. I think they change as well the stone guard here. So it, may, it gives you more protection to the shoe. I cannot tell you about running because I do only hiking and trekking. But apart from that, this shoe, I will not change. In fact, I changed to the new one. Since I am in Europe, I had to pay 150 euros for a pair, which is uh, compared to 130 dollars in US. It's a lot, plus I had to pay shipping, but there's, uh, I couldn't find a dealer because I got it from Amazon Germany. And apart, apart from that, now we will uh, show you about trekking around and I don't assume it will be worse, but from what I have now, I tried it till now, it's uh, a lot better even. And the, the feel when you compare it to other shoes is very soft. Like uh, you are have a normal shoe, which is very light. So now let's do some trekking and uh, I show you a bit even around here. After the re small review that we did or comparison between the Ultra 4.5 and uh, 5.0, now uh, I'm with Vince Paca, he has a channel like me, and we are going for a short walk, trek, and try our shoes uh, and show you uh, how it is when you go over rocks, slippery terrain and uh, this type of trek that we usually do. So we are at Chira and Zabar, we are in Malta and as you can see it's a beautiful day. It's very hot although we are in like summer, eh? May. So, uh, in May and just like summer eh? in Malta. <laughs> come and visit us. It's a very beautiful island and this you see we are with short sleeves. I think that from next vlog Unfortunately for you, <laughs> we have to change in the shorts. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what do you think of this place? Fuck, it's nice, eh? Beautiful, eh? This place is beautiful. You see, it's a bit rough today. Yeah. But it's Even the color, I don't know if you can see it. It's very, it's very nice, eh? Huh? So. Let's continue trying our shoes Let's today. Go. What do you think? It's nice, eh? Here. Have some coffee? You can make a coffee, eh? Oh, no. Okay. We are using the BRS stove which is meant for uh, to be light and small. I put some water here, Pierre? Yes, please. How many milliliters? 200 full? Nearly full. Nearly Four to full. cups. So. I put the max, the max, the coffee max. With my logo. Yeah, with my logo. Me? I have my cup, <laughs> which is more backpacking friendly. And the important is for us, not the cup, the biscuit. I always bring with me to feed my my friends. Because okay. I'm on diet, I'm on diet. <laughs> yeah, not diet, kids. Don't believe me. Well, I'm put some coffee. What do you think? Yes, put some coffee. Well, another important thing. We have rubbish here. 
give it to me, Paka. This go in our bag. Yeah. yeah, go in our bags and this come home with us. We never throw rabbit here. We have to give example to others. Well, the, this one is ready. If you see, the water is already boiling. This is very, very powerful, this, this, uh, this stove. So now, the mug. Well, I have the one. I, I want to put some sugar because I, I like my coffee with sugar. And enjoying our hot coffee with this beautiful view. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Today it was me and Paka. Uh, this was my first review, so and I'm more on vlogging, so it's part a review and uh, part a vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye bye.